This is calculator question number 14 from practice test 6, which is also the October 2016 SAT. College Board gives us a table of values and a graph for the height of a sunflower, and they ask which of these four equations best models the height of the sunflower from day 21, I'm sorry, from day 14 to day 35. Two options here are, first we can find the slope. day 35 minus day 14 in the denominator. The change in height is from 131 to day 14 was 36.36. And that is 94.64 over 21, which is 4.5-ish, which is clearly equation B. These other three choices do not have a slope anywhere near 4.5, so B has to be the correct answer. Alternatively, I could see which equation predict, predicts the height correctly at some point during this time period. I'm going to use t equals 35. I should get an answer of about 131 according to the table, and that's about what it looks like on the chart also. So if I do 2.1 times 35 minus 15, I get a height of only 58, which would be down here. So choice A is clearly very wrong. Choice B gives me 142, no, I'm sorry, 4.5 times 35 minus 27 gives me 130.5, which is within a half inch, and that's close enough. But I have to check the others to see if another one passes through that point if this was my only method of solution. So 6.8 times 35 and then minus 12 is 226, which is way up here, more or less. And choice D, 13.2 times 35 minus 18 is huge, 444 centimeters. So choice B is the only one that comes anywhere close to matching the heights in the tables and the graph. So B would be my correct answer. B also matches the slope, and it's the only one close to matching the slope. When College Board asks you to fit a model to data, often the easiest way is to just substitute in points and cross out wrong answers until only one option is left. Or we can find the answer algebraically by finding the slope and, if we wish, find an intercept. A third option, since this is on the graphing calculator, is I could take my heights from days 14 to 35, these four values, put the day in list 1, the height in list 2, and use linear regression. I'm going to skip that option because it seems like the least efficient but it would work also. And that would probably give me an answer very close to choice B. Come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.